Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and here are all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in March. <laughs> So I actually didn't end up downloading all that much in March, which is surprising because I normally download quite a few <laughs> books, um, but I believe we only have 11 books on this list, which is very short, very short for me. So let's just dive right on into them. I'm actually wrong. There's actually only eight books on this list because four of them were audiobooks, not audiobooks, I'm sorry, library books that I've already returned. So. Um, I'm just gonna, I always just talk about the ones that are available on Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about those books. So let's get started. First, we have Succumb to the Storm, an alien sci-fi adventure romance by Riley Onyx. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for 99 cents. Rescue comes with a price. I crashed on a supposedly uninhabited planet during a routine survey flight. Now I'm stranded. My co-pilot is dead, my radio doesn't work because of the electrical storm, and I'm being hunted. When a massive alien who crackles with energy appears out of the night, saves me from the beasts, I'm grateful for his help, though I wonder how he got here. Did he also crash? For his protection, he demands my surrender. Do I succumb to the storm? And then we have Beauty and the Beast, Heroes Ever After, book number one by Alana, Alana Anderson. This is available still for free to download. Isabella, Grady Williams is a national treasure, the youngest living Medal of Honor recipient, America's scarred superhero. With tattooed arms sculpted from carrying M16s, this bad boy has girls begging from sea to shining sea to get a piece of his action. When my father squanders away my college fund, I make a deal with this dirty talking devil dog. I'll pretend to be Grady's girlfriend for the Marine Corps ball and my dad will write Grady's war memoir. Grady is fearless, hell, the badass jumped on a grenade to, sell, to save a fellow Marine. As much as I crave him, I refuse to allow myself to become addicted to a dangerous man who will detonate my heart. Grady. Isabella Cuesta is an angel who can see beyond my mangled skin. A pawn used to repay her father's debt, a woman who makes me feel like a man instead of a monster. But I no longer believe in fairy tales. She's mine until our contract ends. I'll take her hard and rough, listen to all her hopes and fears, lay down my life to protect her. This beauty will never let herself love a dangerous man like me, a man who has killed, a man who runs towards gunfire, a man who never backs down from a fight. But without her love, I'm not a man. I'll remain forever a beast. Then I have Thor, A Paranormal Romance with Norse Gods um, by J.C. Adreski. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 99 cents. He appeared out of nowhere, naked, blue-eyed, flickering with blue and white light, a silver hammer perched on one muscular shoulder. When he walked out of the bar without a word, I, Sylvia Hope, thought I'd never see him again. Naked cosplay? Drunk and there? I figured I'd never know. Until on my walk home, there he was again, fighting with another guy in the park by my house. Then the lightning starts, the glowing eyes, and the guy he's fighting seems to transform into a giant snake. I start wondering if someone dosed me in that bar. Still, I take Thor home, where he tells me he's a god. Oh, and thanks to a dragon god named Jumordanger, <laughs> I have some kind of magic object embedded in my throat, and there's a good chance I'll die if someone can't fix me. Fast. So that's neat. Meanwhile, Thor stares at me a lot, and man, can that guy stare. It's not really fair, that stare, especially with those eyes. I know it'll never work, I mean, he's a god. I'm a tech nerd who can barely make rent. Then there's the whole I'll probably die thing, thanks to his crazy Asgardian family. But we keep getting thrown together as he tries to save my life, and it's getting harder to pretend the only sparks between us are coming from his hammer. Then we have Baby It's Cold Outside by Kate Nolan. This is still available to download for free. Former army ranger Harrison Wilkes isn't actually a lumberjack. He's just doing his best impression while hiding out in the mountains of East Tennessee. He needs to rest, recharge, and stay the hell away from people while he wrestles with ghosts from his past and figures out his future. Neither includes a snowbound rescue from his favorite author. Ivy Blake is on deadline. Her hero is MIA and she's desperate to find some peace, quiet, and inspiration to get her book and her life back on track. She doesn't plan on driving up a mountain or the mysterious stranger who shows up to save her. When winter Stormageddon traps them together, Ivy finds the inspiration she didn't know she needed in her real life hero. As more than the fireplace heats up in this one man cabin, they both find far more than either of them bargained for. This intuitive author just might have the answers, Har the answers Harrison's been looking for, but will their newfound connection survive past the storm? Then we have The Bed Wife, a historical fantasy romance where enemies become lovers by Suzanne Lynn, the still available 
available to download for free. In a world of stalking troll hordes and malicious plotting for the throne, two former childhood friends are forced together by an archaic tradition. Luana and Balin's lives are vastly different. She, the peasant daughter of the town drunk, left to care for her family's goat farm. He, the prince and future king of Grasmere, who normally rides into battle to protect the kingdom from lurking evils. However, fate intercedes with a time-honored tradition that dates back 500 years. To their mutual disdain, Luana's life is thrust into the hands of her future king, filling both with resentment over the intimate duties forced upon them. Unable to escape their callings, the pair must discover if friendship or affection will be formed when the freedom of choice is wiped away. Then we have Baking Me Crazy, a friend still over small town romantic comedy by um, Carlos Sorensen. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. Life Lessons from Levi Bunchen. If you're going to fall in love with your best friend, make sure you have the patience of a freaking saint. Levi knew Jocelyn Abernathy was the one the day he met her and she kicked his butt on the basketball court. He also knew she wanted nothing to do with romance and for good reasons. So what did he do? He was the best friend she needed for five long years. The day Joss comes to tell her best friend that she's ready for love with another guy, it's like a punch to his... Well, you know. How does he show her that the real love of her life isn't the random guy who just bought her a pickle cupcake at a bakery? Well, he needs to wage war, one touch, one moment at a time. Joss isn't the only stubborn one in their friendship and he'll prove that the man for her has been right in front of her the whole time. And lastly, we have Gods and Monsters by Saffron A. Kent. This is um, available to purchase for $4.99. He was an artist, she was his muse. To everyone in town, Abel Adams was the devil's spawn, a boy who never should have been born, a monster. To 12-year-old Evie Hart, he was just a boy with golden hair, soft t-shirts, and a camera. A boy who loved taking her picture and sneaking her chocolates before dinner. A boy who made her feel special. Despite her family's warnings, she loved him in secret for six years. They met in empty classrooms and kissed in darkened church closets until they couldn't. Until the time came to choose between love and family. And Evie chose Abel because their love was worth the risk. Their love was the stuff of legend. But the thing about legends is that they are cautionary tales. They are made of choices and mistakes. And for Abel and Eve, the artist and the muse, those mistakes come in the form of lights and cameras. So there you have it. That was a very short ebook haul for the month of March. Um, please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or if you plan on downloading any of these after this video. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.